we're talking about strengths and weaknesses of your product, it can cover a couple of different things. It can cover the design, right? It could cover just the general aesthetic. It might be the materials. Maybe it's the production process. Maybe part of the problem is that it's super labor intensive. Or conversely, maybe the problem is that it's really, really easy to make and anybody can do it. That could also be a product weakness. And it might be the range in your product that we look at with strengths and weaknesses. So you might have a product or two that are great, but there's really not enough range in there, and we want to look at that. Price can be either a strength or a weakness, or both, depending on how you're looking at it, right? And then customer response. How are people responding? You know, a couple of people have mentioned, like, I need to educate my customer better. So if customer response is not quite the way you want, we want to take that into account when we're looking for your markets, too. So I want you guys to start out, and we're going to do some hot seats in a few minutes. Um, but first, you can take a look in your notebooks, and you guys who are following along have your workbooks as well. Um, and I want you to start thinking about your product's strengths. What makes your products unique, right? What makes them different from the other things that are out there on the market? What do people like about your products? What do you consistently hear from people as, oh, this is great, or I really appreciate that? And really just what makes your products great? What is it about them that's super awesome? If you can't tell me one thing, we got a lot of work to do. <laughs> so I want you guys to really start to think about that. What is it that makes your products great? And once you've thought about that, then we want to turn around to the, to the other side. What are your product weaknesses? Because those are important to understand, too. So they can really help guide us towards the right markets. So what needs to be improved? Are there things that just really aren't up to par? More importantly, what makes your products blend in, right? What makes your products the same as everybody else's? Because that can create a lot of challenges. And what frustrates people about your products? What makes it a difficult sell? So when we're talking about product weaknesses, we want to make sure they're actually weaknesses and figure out what we need to do about them. So we're doing this evaluation to figure out your best fit markets, but we also sometimes are going to come to the conclusion that stuff needs to be improved in your product line, right? That's really the key to making a living selling what you make, is having a strong product line that hits a lot of price points that people want to buy. That's the secret. And a lot of times, and we're going to talk about product development in a whole other lesson, but a lot of times that's the missing piece, is not having the right product line mix. So if we're looking at your product weaknesses, what we want to figure out is can we spin that? Do we, can we just ignore it? Or do we need to improve it? So if we're thinking about spinning, you know, are they really weaknesses? Can they be turned into selling points? So I work in steel. And there are a lot of things about steel that could potentially be turned into weaknesses. It can rust, right? People don't normally wear it for jewelry. They don't know a lot about it. There's a lot of questions. But instead, I spin it to look at what are the strengths of steel. It's lightweight, it's durable, it holds that beautiful black color better than oxidized sterling wood. So make sure that when you're thinking weakness, is it really weakness or can we spin it? Then you also need to figure out if the weaknesses you've identified actually matter to the customer, right? So I gave, I talked about Eric Reese and the Lean Startup, right? And he talked about this importance of building something that people want to make. And he talks about in the book how they were developing this um, like virtual world that they had created, and they didn't want their people to move around awkwardly. So they did this really quick solution where they created this like teleport feature, right? Your character just teleported. And they were like, well, it's such an easy, lazy thing. Like we, we, we know it's a weakness. We'll fix it later. And all the customers were like, we love the teleport feature. It's so fun. Like We love that about your product, right? So just because it might be a weakness to you doesn't necessarily mean it's a weakness to your customer. So we want to look at that as well. And then do you need to improve upon your product weaknesses before heading into the marketplace? Sometimes things are just not quite there. Though you'd be surprised at what you can kind of bring into the marketplace with some uncertainty around it. That's OK, too.